guys, this is Michelle Marie Tlani. I'm in the backyard today because weather is tolerable and it's not too bad. And of course, the sun is out and of course, it's decent. Unfortunately, these chairs are missing their cushions. We don't know where they are, but oh well. Anyway, so the important thing is, is that we are all here today um, at the house and doing cool. The uh, porch is coming along very nicely. Level three is done. Yes, it's done. The level three is done. The roof is next, followed by building up the stairwells. Uh, is being built now. They're working on level four, and they're going to be starting then. Once level four is done, they got the roofing on, and the stairs are done. The concrete guys still got to put a couple more concrete footings in, and we'll be all set. I had a bad scare with this camera, by the way. Accidentally, the con the camera kind of fell off the tripod and hit the uh, a concrete slab. But my phone did not get damaged. Thank Mother God for that. Uh, <laughs> it's not easy to do a mobile shoot, especially when you're, um, you know, you got to try to get set up and get things going on. I saw Rusty today. He's doing good. Big is he? I saw him earlier. He was out here with me and uh, doing his cat things. And uh, Sasha, I haven't seen her yet. Um, usually a rule of thumb is usually you see one or the other. You don't usually see both at the same time. Although they do sometimes congregate together and that's the way it is. So yes, I'm very happy to see that everybody's healthy. And um, the besides the porch getting done in a pretty nice clip, I'm also happy to say that um, we're seeing some very nice results with um, other things as well. Um, I got my regular Section 8 and, um, paperwork review on the 8th of September. I'm going to fill out the paperwork, get all that stuff together, and then we're going to present everything as we normally do since it's an annual thing. And then the regular scheduled inspection will be, and hopefully by that time Jimmy's porch will be done. If it's not, well, um, he's going to have 30 days after that point to fix what is not done. I hope it's going to be done. I hope so, too. By the way, um, how is the um, the sunlight? You're feeling the sun, and it's hot. It is very hot. Um, I'm getting a tan, incidentally. Um, a couple. You might see I got a little bit of soot on my top. I'm sorry. I was... Cleaning up after um, yesterday, the day before his barbecue session um, with Dory, we had the first night we had pork ribs, um, and then the second night we had um, chicken, and they didn't have any charcoal, so we used uh, wood, and wood is a great heat source for cooking. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the cleanest thing in the world to work with because it gets sooty. Um, it's not much better for using charcoal, really. Um, but charcoal does have an advantage that um, the heat's a little less extreme and you can tend to cook um, without having to watch the grill as much. Whereas with wood, you know, you got to bank your fire just right. Otherwise, you're going to have cremated dinner instead of cooked dinner. Uh, but some of the meat we had definitely did not hurt from getting a little bit well done. Nice char on the outside. Delicious meat. Wonderful. Um, absolutely. A very few times I eat meat is because it has a really negative impact on my digestive system. But I had some. Um, <clears throat> and it's been... It didn't hurt my stomach any. Um, it just um, gave me some... Oh, well, let's put it this way. I've been regular. So... <laughs> So, that's a good thing. Now, um, there is another barbecue grill out here. We're using the SL Weber tabletop, and um, which worked out fine, because SL Webers are usually made very well. They've been made, the charcoal grill was actually designed in the 40s, early 50s, and it is one of the high grade of charcoal grills. So, I knew it could take the heat, and it did, and it worked out fine. And, um, hi, Rusty. Do you want to be up on camera today? Yeah. And Mr. Cat's under my chair. He's actually under my chair. He's like, oh, oh I got shade. <laughs> well, he's a cat. He, yeah, he, he has simple needs. He doesn't really get into the picky details. Catch you. Catch ya. Hey, stop nuzzling me with your tail. Oh. 
Yeah, what's coming up? I'm sorry. I don't mean to. He doesn't want to come out right now. Um, until he's getting ready. I think he's hitting my chair. He's just, his tail's up in the air full, bit, full extended. And he's, he's a, he's a happy kitty. He's purring. And as I said, you see, you see Rusty or Sasha. You don't see Rusty and Sasha most of the time. Because usually one stays with the kittens while the other one hangs out and does cat things. And Rusty, I think, has been doing what, the best he can for a male cat. And it just is... He watches the kittens the best he can, but then he goes out and he hunts and he gets food for her and brings it back to the nest for the kittens in her yard. And, and they, they dine together. Plus, of course, he eats his own cat food dish. And sometimes she'll come over and eat of his cat food dish, too. So the cat foods are all, the cats are all using the same cat dish. So it's, it's really been kind of an interesting arrangement. Now, one of the things I want to ask Marie, Rebecca Marie and a messenger... Um, is she says she uses Google Hangouts to do her little spiritual pieces. And here's my question. Um, on my iPhone, there is no easy way to do a Google Hangouts, um, like you do. Um, but given what you said about how inappropriate questions keep popping up when you're doing your pieces, maybe you should do it like I do and use YouTube. YouTube is better because... I don't get disturbed unless the phone rings. He left. Yeah, he's out. He's turning around. Or if he's still in my chair. Yeah, he's still in my chair. He's just licking in the grass. Keeping cool. Um, it's it's easier better to use the uh, you, you the YouTube capture program. Um, if you're gonna use capture. Or you can use the um the built-in, if you got an iPhone or Android, so you can use the built-in camera and then up, just share your videos up on YouTube. Um, on the iPhone 3GS and the 4S as well, it is, by default, um, YouTube videos are limited to about 10 minutes. I would have thought that they would have changed it since the increase of 8.3, but I guess they didn't, which usually... 10 minutes is usually more than long enough for a video, but sometimes you need a little more time, and that's why I upload them with Google Capture after I'm done shooting them with the camera. Um, one of the problems I run into is with this thing is the recording quality. Um, my iPhone records at 1080p. Now, there's nothing wrong with 1080p except for one thing. The videos are enormous, and for most people, it's not really... A big deal for most of these vlogs or becasts because uh, it's more of a hear it than see it. Okay, I did use the um, Google um, the higher resolution for the um, videos uh, did on um, on the computer because that was you know more of a, you got to see it and hear it. So um, right now the uh, but in typical normal B casts and things like that will be shot in standard definition. It's just easier and faster. The next few days are going to be mild, like today. Uh, it's not too bad right now. It's like about 25 degrees out here. It's really not bad. Um, the sun, as I said, is bright. It's kind of partially occluded by a cloud. There's some very high uh, clouds up there, kind of a thinner, wispier type uh, clouds. Definitely cumulative. Cumulus clouds, or sometimes known as fair weather clouds. They're not really going to be a problem. Um, today was supposed to be a washout, but thanks to my abilities, um, even though they're very minimal, I was able to convince the weather to do uh, to delay it by one more day. So we might get rain tomorrow, but today we certainly did not. So the, Josh and the construction team have been very happy with me keeping my end of the deal, and they're trying to keep their end of the deal and getting the project done as soon ports done as fast as they can. Um, Josh is the foreman of the crew is building the ports right now. So for the time being, I just wanted to say to everybody that I'm very happy to see that my videos have been doing better and then continuing to work on them and add to them. And I'm going to try to cover more topics as we can. I'm waiting for another piece to be delivered today by the mail. Um, it's really not that big, but it's a connector that connects my Power Mac G5 to a standard uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Um, and that should be here and hopefully it's the right one this time. This will be the fourth one I've ordered um, from the same company that has turned out to be the wrong piece. 
hopefully this time it'll be the right one. Well, I guess that's for now. So I'll talk to you later. Please, you don't know, forget to like, dislike, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to go into the phone.